All right, we have another one here from one of my favorite micro brands, Van Banner here. This is indeed the Lee. Here is the box that it comes in. It's actually one of those tin cans. It really reminds me of uh, the fossil days. So they give you a polishing cloth, very nice em 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 embossed Van Banner watches right there. And there is the watch itself protected very well protected with its phone and they give you instructions and of course they give you some extra spring bars as well right there and the reason why is because it comes with this mesh strap as well I've been wearing it on the leather I have absolutely no intentions of putting it on this actually so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you or I'm going to show you guys a clip from Pete's channel over at Chillin' With Watches and he actually has the Lee on the mesh. So you can take a look at that and let's get into the watch itself. You have the VBLE151 that will signify this blue color that we get here. VB which is Van Banner, LE which is the Lee. Yes, I did say Lee, which is a noun, means grassland, meadow, field, lawn, playing field, parkland. There's a whole bunch of different synonyms for this, but uh, this is indeed pronounced Lee, even though it looks like Leah. So, what are we getting here? Well, we're getting a monster watch with monster loom. Yes, we're getting BGW9 and C3 Super Luminova from Swiss, from the Swiss or from Switzerland. Uh, take a look at the loom shot here. Very, very, very nice. This is definitely the best loom that I have seen on the channel to date. Very, very nice job. But I also did say this is a monstrous watch. What do I mean by that? Well, we're getting 45 millimeters in case diameter. We're getting a thickness of 14.2 millimeters, which is not too bad. We are getting a 52 and a half millimeter lug to lug. And we're also getting 24 millimeters in lug width. Now, the way that the lugs taper down and don't let the millimeters from lug to lug fool you because on my seven inch wrist very thick strap by the way but it does fit very nicely it does conform to your wrist immediately there is no spillover in regards to the lugs uh, because of the taper uh, they did a very nice job with that so fits well not too heavy actually um, feels good on the wrist not top heavy at all like you would think it would be just really wears well so we're getting um, a 316L stainless steel with that distressed PVD coating. By the way, the crown, you're getting that coin edging, but you're also getting loom on a crown if this just wasn't enough, guys, which is unbelievable. $218.20 for this watch. I believe that's a little bit odd just because of the conversion from Canadian to USD. But the other odd thing is that it is indeed super low for what you're getting. You're getting a sapphire sandwich first and foremost with that beveling right there, which is also added cost. And another added cost is the fact that it has AR coating. But sapphire on front and back, NH35 movement. So Seiko's tried and true movement there. And there's just some writing here, which I'm never a fan of. I know I scratched off that, at least the center part of my last Van Banner watch. Just not a fan of that, but that's just a personal preference. There you go with that. You can kind of see the NH35 in between the lettering. But you get that distressing all throughout the case. Now, this leather strap is really nice. Uh, it is genuine leather. You get the quick change system. You get that contrast stitching in that cream color kind of like a darker cream uh, and then we've got the lee stamp there as well but yeah you do get a thicker strap there plenty of adjusts for your wrists 
the dial itself is a sandwich dial essentially and you're getting like this blue that goes around the entire dial there and then on the inner part you get that black with that texturing as you can see there take a look at the counterbalance that that second hand is done in white with the red tip you get blue hands on this one and you get a different uh, loom on the hands that you do on the numerals as you can see uh, it's more of a white on the hands, so I believe that would be the BGW9. C3 is more of that yellowish, and I believe you're getting that BGW9 on the bezel as well because that looks a little more white as well. And then you get that, again, the C3 on the pip. You get loom just everywhere on this watch. Un unbelievable. So you do consider this a military-style watch that has 300 meters of water resistance. They consider this a field dive watch. Um, and here's the dive portion here with the bezel. It does have that 120 click. It does have pretty significant back play though, I have to admit. But be that as it may, you're getting a lot of watch for the money here. And I'd be hard pressed to uh, find another watch in this price range that's going to give you the type of loom set fire sandwich with an nh35 stainless steel case but overall i have to say this is just a really really nice watch and just uh if you can get past how big it is that's just one of my few moans about this watch if you could say is the size um, but it does wear well for how big it is so take it as it may uh, really great watch still available on van banner's site you can check them out on instagram as well that's my two cents you guys can keep to change i'll see you guys next time on average joe watch reviews god bless my friends